Hello YouTubers. Sorry I haven't posted a video in a while, but in one of my unpacking videos that will soon upload pretty soon. I actually got this, but what happened was this was missing parts. So this is my Wheel Lock 34T horn. As you can tell, I modified it. This used to be red, but I spray painted it white with some Rust-Oleum spray paint here. That guy right there. And as you may wonder, there's a soup can in the back of my Wheel Lock 34T horn. Now what I did was, I removed all the guts out of here. The old contactor coil, wherever I may have it, or right here. Remove that coil out of there. And some of you will be saying, well, why did you wreck this up? Well, I did not wreck it up. It just didn't work. I didn't want to throw it away or anything. It was cheap anyways, but I thought, I came up with this idea yesterday that I would stick a speaker inside of this old housing. And if, you, if you're wondering what speaker I stuck in here, I stuck one of these old compact computer speaker in there. It actually came out of the amp of this speaker here. This is just the, the side speaker I call it. But this is the old amp speaker and the amp didn't work anymore so I decided to gut the speaker out and stick it in here and it fitted in perfectly. And this is the back can for the speaker and don't mind the princesses there but it's just a soup can. It's a spaghetti -o soup can. I hot glued everything in place. Now, I will be hooking this up to the intercom system in here pretty soon using this amp. But in terms, I'm prepping for this last video here that I'll be making in a couple of weeks. I'm thinking about sticking it right next to this old Spectre Alert up here that's hooked up to the alarm system. I don't want to spoil any of the new changes that will be coming up, but that's one of them, hopefully. And up there in the rafters, there's an extra speaker wire that I got up there. It's going to be all tied in with this. And yeah, I'm going to have to spoil it. This speaker up here. It's, they're going to all be tied in together. Now I'll explain this stuff on that last video I'm going to be making. And it'll be powered off this amp. Another spoiler alert. For you guys that are wondering what's going to be coming up next. So, I'm going to actually, I don't, I'm still deciding on how I'm going to mount this. And this actually is still a junction box compatible. So I, I can still mount through these holes just fine. And this was made in 1989. I'm going to give you a preview how it sounds. But I'm just going to, it's going to be real quick because of copyright. Okay, so how this works is all the sound kind of hits the middle here and it diffuses out these ends here. Just like how it used to operate with a metal plate. Now it's a pain in the butt to get everything out, especially because everything was pressed. And if I could get this soup can out. There's two wires, this is just a little craft project I wanted to try out. Let me put the camera down for a second. Okay. Got this can out. That's all that's inside the can. This can is just probably temporary. I still haven't decided if I want to use this can for the speaker. But these speakers have a giant magnet on there. And this is apparently 4 ohms at 8 watts. But it fits in there perfectly. I hot glued a cardboard in place to hold the speaker down. Even though it fits in there perfectly. I already got my little holes poked out in the edges there. To mount this to a junction box. And not a plastic box like this because it won't work. You have to get a metal box. They do actually do, they make plastic boxes. As a junction box, it's basically a standard old metal junction box. But it has to be extra deep because this magnet is really huge. 
Yeah, it's hooked up there. Okay. That sounds pretty good. So this is one of the... And it actually stands up like that. That's perfect. But it'll be going up there. So there's going to be all kinds of new changes coming up in a couple of weeks. Possibly there might be some new speakers coming. Another spoiler alert. This place is a mess right now, as you can tell, but I'm going to get this place clean. So, sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I've just been real busy lately. So, don't send me any bad comments about this modification. It didn't work anyways, so I might as well modify it just, just for fun. And a fact about this, too, this is used as a contactor in the AC unit. So, yeah, this actually is used as a contactor in the AC unit. Not just with this, but it's actually used in the HVAC system as a contactor. You'll find these outside in the condensing unit. Another fact of the day right there. And if you don't know what a contactor is, just research, do some research on a contactor, and you'll, you'll know that it'll be this that's used. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So there'll be new changes coming up in a couple of weeks. Be ready for it because there's more coming and it's the last video of 2016. And there are going to be two videos this year. So see you guys later and subscribe.